Slayer versus Dry Kill Logic. These are two fast-paced, bombastic heavy metal bands. The reason I'm comparing them is because they both have about the same number of good heavy metal songs throughout their careers. Despite Slayer having a longer career, there's still about the same amount of good songs. And I'm also comparing them because I genuinely think that Slayer fans would like Dry Kill Logic. And even people who aren't really big Slayer fans but like Slayer's more famous work would probably like Dry Kill Logic as well. So I'm going to run through my top 12 songs by these two bands right quick. And I'm going to use my heavy music meter to help me describe how heavy the different parts of these songs are. Number 12 is Bloodline by Slayer. The verse features a bold, head-nodding rhythm that periodically stumbles on fierce, escalating power chord sequences. That leads nicely into the descending melody and shrill vocal hook of the chorus. At about two minutes, there's an angry bridge that intensifies and leads into a scratchy, erratic guitar solo. Number 11 is Post Mortem, also by Slayer. A very catchy verse riff is periodically broken by sharp, dangerous chords. The chorus kind of revs up like a motor before the next verse riff engages and drives on. This whole song is about at a 9 through the whole thing. Number 10 is Wait by Dry Kill Logic. It has mellow, apprehensive lows that come in at about a 4, and peculiar, distressing transitions that lead to absolutely ruckus, invigorating highs. Number 9 is Dead Man's Eyes, also by Dry Kill Logic. Dead Man's Eyes has a wild, voracious verse and enthralling, uplifting chorus, after which the driving rhythm of the progressive second half leads down to the slow, doomy, powerfully reverberating finale. Number 8 is a Dry Kill Logic song called Feel the Break. In the verse, an uncanny lead melody alternates with piercing power chords. The clamorous and zippy pre-chorus then sets up a boisterous, positively booming chorus. At number 7, it's Dry Kill Logic again with 4039. The verse riff is rambunctious and explosive. The domineering, rapid-fire pre-chorus sets up a compelling, soaring chorus. Then there's a thunderous, pulsing bridge that peaks with an enthralling, topsy-turvy guitar solo. And Slayer's back with number six, When the Stillness Comes. This song features very cool drum rolls and fills, and eerie, mystifying lows that climb to blaring, stormy highs that top out at a 10 on the heavy music meter. It also has a furious, whirling tempest of a finale. And number five is Angel of Death by Slayer. The thrillingly chaotic verse races along veering this way and that before changing subtly into the pounding buildup of the pre-chorus. Then the chorus is a cacophony of sputtering palm muting and quick interval power chord melodies that go off like buzzsaws. In the middle of this song, the tempo downshifts and the song takes on a more groove metal type sound. Then there's a flat out crazy sounding finale. At number four, it's As Thick As Thieves by Dry Kill Logic. The emphatic shaking rhythm of the verse is overlaid with perilously shifting, blazing chords. Then we have the dazzling, evocative, rolling chords and tangibly cool vocals of the chorus. The song also has a voraciously heavy, rip-roaring bridge that steps it up from an 8 to a 9. Number 3 is Slayers South of Heaven which has calm, subtly sinister valleys, gripping, ruckus, catchy escalations, and emphatic, explosive peaks. And number two is My Dying Heart by Dry Kill Logic. The 
turbulent lead and scrambling palm muting of the verse leads into the veering pre-chorus that gathers itself and sets up the monumentally electrifying and truly compelling chorus. And the number one best song by Slayer or Dry Kill Logic is Raining Blood by Slayer, which is a genius work of art that flows effortlessly from blitzkrieks of erratic speed to head-nodding, infectious grooves to absolutely epic zeniths of awesomeness. Now, when I was making this, I went through Slayer's entire 12-album discography. And, you know, most Slayer songs are very frantic and disjointed, and they don't really have anything in the way of a moving rhythm. Now, if you're a young teenager and you just want to hear the most extreme thing possible, then maybe that's your thing. But most people grow out of that and want to have something that's a bit smarter musically. Maybe breaking up those fast riffs into short bursts so that you can actually build a moving rhythm with it, rather than an extreme-sounding, disjointed mess. So looking through Slayer's discography of 12 albums and finding the good songs was kind of like picking the marshmallows out of a bag of Lucky Charms. Now a whole bowl full of marshmallows is pretty good, but it's a lot of work to pick them all out. So I've done that work for you. So here are all the good songs by Slayer, ranked against all the good Dry Kill Logic songs. And so my final score, if you know how I do this, is going to be 1 point for the number 40 song on the list, 2 points for the number 39 song on the list, and, and every next song you add 1 point, so the top song on the list is worth 40 points. So if you add that all up, then Dry Kill Logic beats out Slayer 416 to 404. Okay, hope you've all discovered something that you like. Have a nice day. <laughs>